Making a little project this evening, a little, um, I thought I'd make a, a, a signal tracer, you know, just a simple signal tracer for tracing audio through um, amplifiers and things. Originally I wanted a battery standalone um, sort of system. Uh, you can't really buy them, there's lots of kits available, but I thought I might be able to utilise this old um, computer speaker. Um, unfortunately it is um, Woolwort supplied, you know, it's a, it's got a, um, a transformer on there the wall plug sort of thing over here um, so it is isolated obviously it's running through an, uh, an isolated supply and I could also run it on my isolation transformer as well so what I've done is I basically altered the insides of it to uh, hopefully give a make it quite a usable tracer I don't know if you can see in here but basically what I've done is the input of this amplifier has got some uh, resistors down to ground to give it the sort of like the 47k ohm loading so I removed those took them out I put this high voltage uh, low value 100 nan capacitor in series with the uh, the audio lead and this is my sort of a bodge up at the moment but that's my supply audio lead coming in and that comes to this BNC socket here and the ground connection of the BNC is to the ground of the speaker here which is the, the same point all the way through the amplifier it's all grounded um, and what I've done is here I've added an extra switch for a diode detector um, initially I was going to put the diode right at the front end but the trouble with that is the diode could see quite high voltage if I'm probing around in um, valve equipment there's a good chance that that diode will see big spikes of voltage and because they're germanium diode they're very sensitive so what I've actually done is the input impedance of this amplifier is still fairly low. It's better than it was because I've taken the, the resistors off the front end, but it's still sort of 4750K. So what I've done is I've put this diode after all the extra balancing and uh, capacitors on the front end of the amplifier. I've put this right on the input of the of the uh, op amp. It's got a little chip circuit there. I don't know if you can see the heat sink there. You can see the power supply and rectification there. That blue wire sticking up there is the other channel that fed off the other channel. This is a stereo chip. I'm only using one of the uh, amplifiers in it. Um, basically what I've done is so I put a diode detector in series with the input of the amplifier. So in one mode it will just be an audio tracer. And the other way, in the other position, it, it opens the circuit to the diode. So it allows the current to pass through the diode and becomes a detector. Um, and the idea of that is I can... Um, well, it should be able to trace uh, audio component in the uh, RF stages, like if you're tracing through an RF section, you should be able to detect audio coming through, and you could possibly sort of work through, hopefully working on sort of high voltage, a couple of hundred volts, with that decoupling capacitor in the back, uh, in the front end, to stop any DC getting here. Uh, we'll have to try it on a high voltage to see what it's like. And the idea will be is we should be able to trace audio, should be a proper audio tracer. I'm working a bit blind here, I haven't actually downloaded the circuit, I just thought I'd give this a go. I've got nothing to lose with this amplifier, this um, little speaker. It's uh, it's not uh, used used for anything anymore. So just put the cover on it quickly. Um, let me just pause the video and get the cover back on it and we'll uh, I'll, sh I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, that's it powered up. Uh, and this is uh, basically put a BNC on the socket on the on the top, and this is I'm using a scope leave here uh, for my signal tracer because I thought a scope probe would be quite ideal. At the moment I've got the scope probe disconnected from the end of the scope, but what I'll do is I'll plug it into the uh, an audio source, and I'll give you a demonstration. Now this is the uh, HP8903, one kilohertz, and an amplitude of one millivolt, and you can hear that's perfectly perfectly decent volume to, to trace down to 100. So I think it worked down to sort of like 500 microvolts, no problem at all. I'm probably even less than that. That's actually at the moment, that's the lowest the uh, the um, audio uh, Hewlett Packard could go to. I could try it, I suppose, on the Roden Schwartz. I didn't think of that. You know, I've got the generator, I might as well use it. Um, so that's the um, AM audio tracing mode. And you hear the diode in, there's a bit of noise and things, but you'd expect that because the diode sort of makes the impedance a lot higher as well. So what I'll do is I'll plug it into the Roden Schwartz uh, RF signal generator, and now you can hear I'm going to be modulating the uh, carrier now with the so we're generating 770 kilohertz. And if we go into diode detection, you can hear the background there. I mean, the, it's not that clear because the level is quite low. A bit of interference from the uh, camera by the sounds of it, but you hear the it's working fine as a diode detector, so it should be good for tracing, as I say, audio through um, 
that's without the detector. So basically the amplifier is trying to uh, modulate, uh, what it's trying to do is take the AC RF signal and amplify it, which is not, not a good idea. Um, so that's a nice little, hopefully, nice little um, RF detector. Of course, the proof of the pudding will be actually in testing it for fault finding, but uh, yeah, good, a nice little idea. You can't actually buy these. There's a lot of Heathkit uh, models I've seen on eBay now and then, but they go for st stupid amounts of money. Actually, got a bit of a crackle coming there. I don't know if that's the uh, be interesting. No, that's just my signal generator, or maybe a noisy component again in the Roden Schwartz, but uh, clearly works, and maybe a nice little kit for someone to make. Thanks for watching.